So here we're asked to find the equivalent of these, sum of these two square roots. So the key thing for these types of problems is to reduce them, that is, f take out numbers that are perfect squares. So for example, in case of 32, 16 times 2. Why? Because I know square root of 16 is 4. So this can be written as 4 root 2. I'm going to do, do the same thing here with 200. 2 times 100, because I know square root of 100 is 10. So that becomes 10 root 2. And now I have to add these two. So that's 10 plus 4. This is 14 root 2, which is choice B.